Hi, this is Keith Schweigert here with your two-minute drill for the District 3 Quad A football playoff game between Hempfield and Muhlenberg. Hempfield comes in as the eight seed. They went eight and two in the season. Muhlenberg, the nine seed at seven and three. These are two very similar teams. Both of them have really good multi-dimensional quarterbacks. For Hempfield, it's senior Jarvis Cummings, who has uh, rushed for a thousand yards, a thousand twenty-one yards on one hundred fifty-seven carries, scored thirteen touchdowns. He's also thrown for 799 yards and five scores, uh, completed just about 50% of his passes, a little bit under that. He's a, he's a multifaceted attack. If you, if you try to really stack the line and, and stop him from running the ball in that option, he'll just go back and pass it against you. Muhlenberg, same kind of deal. They have a senior quarterback in Nate Daniels. Uh, who has rushed for 426 yards and four touchdowns, where he does most of his damage is through the passing game. Uh, he's completed 116 of 207 throws, 1,786 yards, and 18 touchdowns. So Muhlenberg really gets it done on the pass game. Uh, for, for the Mules, their top receiver is uh, Tyrell Ellison. Uh, he has 38 catches, 756 yards, 11 touchdowns. They also have another uh, solid number two receiver in Brett Fox, who has 50 catches for 705 yards and six scores. Uh, the ground game is pretty much uh, guided by Daniels. Uh, there's a trio of running backs, but none of them are, are all that spectacular, frankly. Uh, Taj Logan, Eric Thomas, and Trevor Lenhart. Uh, all of them, uh, the, the top rusher there is Logan. He has 347 yards and six scores. For Hempfield, it pretty much revolves around their ground game. They run the option with Cummings. Eric Masick is the number two running back. He has 617 yards and 10 touchdowns, so he's a pretty dangerous runner himself. Uh, Hempfield comes into this one. They've won four straight. Uh, since they got blown out by Wilson in week six, they've looked pretty impressive. They've gotten back to basics, uh, really concentrated on the ground game, and that's worked out really well for them. Uh, they've, uh, Like I said, they've won four in a row. They've posted two shutouts during that span. They're coming in here pretty hot. Uh, for Muhlenberg, something's got to give here. Uh, they went two and three in their last five games. They lost 43-20 to Mifflin last week. And they're pretty vulnerable against the uh, against the run, so that could be where Hempfield really uh, goes out and wins this game. Keys to the game for Hempfield: they got to limit the turnovers. That's what's plagued them in their two losses. They lost to Penn Manor and they lost to Wilson. In both games, they gave up a, a lot of turnovers, and that really ended up costing them, especially in the Penn Manor game. Uh, they also need to get a pass rush on Daniels. I get the feeling that if you can shut down Daniels, Muhlenberg's offense will grind to a halt, so they really need to do that. And third, on Hempfield, for uh, for their offense, they've got to just run, run, run. Run with Cummings, get Masick going. If they can get that ground game going, they can keep Muhlenberg's offense off the field, and they can uh, you know control the clock and generate some points themselves. I think that'll be key for them. I'm leaning Hemfield in this one. It's an 8-9 game. It's a tough one to pick, but I think the Black Knights have enough to put it away.